Hello everyone and welcome back to Brackets Academy. In this video we'll be taking a look on how to control an Arduino board uh, wirelessly. In this example we're going to be taking a look at uh, changing the color of, the, of an RGB LED using any device that's connected to our network, whether that's a computer, a smartphone or a tablet or anything else that can access the web basically. Uh, this is going to be done using web sockets. So I'll also share with you a video of the final product for today. And if you want to learn how to do this, let's get started. Before we get started, I would like to point out this is some sort of like a follow up video to the previous video, which is uh, getting started with Johnny 5. So if you're confused about what Johnny 5 is and how to set up the environment, please go ahead and check that video out. I will leave a link down in the description for that. Second thing is, in order to accomplish what we're going to be doing today, we're going to be using a couple of things. First thing is we're going to be using Express.js. And for those of you who don't know what Express.js is, basically it's a framework for Node.js that will allow us to easily create uh, web and mobile applications and also to easily create APIs. Uh, we're also going to be using WebSockets. Uh, so WebSocket is a communication proto protocol over a single TCP connection. Uh, it, enab it basically enables interaction between a browser and a server and it's, it is a real-time connection so it's going to be easy, easy for us to transfer uh, messages between the browser and the server all done in real time. And uh, for, for, for part number three we're going to be using a JS library called JS Color. This will help us create the color picker uh, that uh, you saw in the beginning of the video. So now that we have uh, that put aside, we can start uh, the actual coding of the application. So head over to code and I'll meet you there. One thing I forgot was to show you guys how you can connect the uh, RGB to your Arduino. In my case, I'm using a breadboard here. Uh, and I will also share the schematics uh, on the screen right now and probably I'll share a link down in the description so you would know how to connect the uh, light to your Arduino board. Now let's head over to Visual Studio Code and start creating our application. I have an empty project here inside Visual Studio Code and we're gonna go ahead and install our dependencies now. So first let's grab the Express.js library framework npm install express-save next go ahead and install the WebSocket npm install-save-ws after this we're gonna need the uh, Johnny5 library so npm install Johnny5 Johnny npm install Johnny5 and lastly we're gonna go ahead and download the uh, JS Color library so let's head over to our browser and download JS Color now let's create the uh, file structure for our project so go ahead and create a new folder called public and inside that folder we're gonna have another folder called lib which stands for library and here I'm gonna go uh, copy and paste the uh, JS Color library. So there we have the JS Color library and also inside our public folder we're gonna have a new file called index.html and we're gonna have another file index.js and outside our public folder inside our root directory we're gonna have another file we're gonna call it server.js. So basically uh, server.js is going to be our server part, our backend part of the application and uh, everything that's inside our public uh, folder is going to be the frontend part of the application. So let's go ahead and uh, start uh, with uh, server.js and create our server here. So first thing we're going to uh, require uh, express framework. So const express equals require express require require express and we're gonna have a const app which gonna which will be equal to express and next we're gonna have a port so const port and we're gonna put it to port 3000 and let's uh, require the Johnny 5 library next so r5 equals require Johnny 5 
after that we can also require the websocket library so const websocket equals require ws and we're gonna create a new instance of the websocket server now so const wss equals to new websocket.server and we're gonna grab a port here so we're gonna set a port to be equal to 8080 so basically our websocket is gonna be running at localhost with port 8080 now let's create a state state for our application so when the user goes to localhost slash caller we're going to be serving uh, everything that's within the uh, public folder right here so let's go, go ahead and do that app.use not uh, app dot use dash caller uh, express dot static and we're gonna put in the public folder here okay so next let us create the uh, the code for the board so we're gonna go ahead and do five dot uh, board dot on ready uh, function so when the board is ready when the arduino is ready we're going to instantiate and create a new led so var led equals new 5.led.rgb and we're going to put in some properties inside here so let's start with the pins our RGB light is going to be connected to pin number 6, pin number 3, and pin number 5. Uh, so all of these pins are basically PWN style pins, uh, pulse width modulation pins. So let's go ahead and for the red leg, uh, set it to pin number 6. And then the green, set it to pin number 5. And the uh, blue, set it to pin number 3. Now that we have that done, we can go ahead and... Uh, Turn the LED on. So LED that on, and we can set up a default color for our our LED. So LED that color, and we're gonna go in hashtag FF 0 And after this, we can go ahead and create our uh, web socket uh, connections. So WSS that on on connection. function so this is going to be the event when uh, somebody connects to our server so we can console.log connected so after that uh, actually we, we're going to pass in here the the ws and the request and further down we can say ws that on message function and we're gonna pass in the data right here so when somebody from the front end or from the browser tries to make a connection to a server and tries to send a message we're going to grab that message right here the data which is in the message and we're going to set the color of our LED to the color that we sent from our front end so we're gonna have a hashtag here plus data so that is pretty much it for our backend part of the application. So now let's move on to the uh, index.html file. So here we're gonna have an exclamation mark and press enter and automatically we are, Visual Studio Code is gonna generate the uh, index.html for us. So here we can say something like uh, uh, color this is for our title then inside our body we can have a script tag and the source is gonna be index.js and another script tag and here we're gonna include the uh, JS color library so we're gonna say lib dash JS color and we're gonna have an h1 tag please select a color and after that we're going to have an input field so color input 
and here we're gonna give it ID we're gonna say my color and also we're gonna pass in a class and the class is gonna be JS color and we're gonna give it a value of a B two five six seven so this is gonna be the default value when we log into our um, when our application is gonna be rendered uh, now let's go ahead and uh, create our index.js file so here we're gonna have a window on load event so window that on load equals function and inside this function here we're gonna write we're gonna connect to our web socket so we're gonna have a bar socket equals new web socket and we're gonna say web socket ws colon slash slash localhost um, 8080 from there we're gonna create we're gonna grab a reference from to our element uh, to our input so let's go ahead and do that so var element equals document dot get element by id and we're gonna go ahead and copy our id my color and from there we can go element dot add event listener so we're gonna add uh, on change event here so dash function so whenever this value here changes we're going to grab that value here and we're going to pass it into our socket basically passing it to a server making our led change color uh, inside here we're going to put socket dot send and uh, the value is going to be we can have data here or and after that we have data dot target dot value and this is going to be the value we're gonna uh, write in our front end of the application so let's go ahead and try and run this and see if it's gonna work so we're gonna go node server dot js we can see that we have a problem here IGB, RGB is undefined so uh, why is there oh uh, five dot led dot rgb okay let's see if it fixes the problem looks like it did and my board is working now the color is red and let's go ahead to our browser and localhost 3000 is not working so one thing we forgot to add here is for to serve our uh, front end part of the application so let's go ahead and do that we're gonna go ahead and say app that listen we're gonna pass in the port colon and we're gonna have console log here that our application is running so let's say console.log we are live okay so let's go ahead now save this and run it again we are live so now when we go to our browser we should see our application running 3000 slash color and let's try and change the color and the LED is already changing the color I will probably have a video of this showing you the uh, effects if you want to access the server from within your network let's say if you want to control the LED from a tablet we're gonna have to make one change here and that is to change uh, the uh, local host here instead of local host we're gonna point out to the IP address of our machine uh, so my IP address is uh, 192.168.1.104 dot one dot one zero four. So in order to test this, if this is working, I'm gonna copy this. I'm gonna run the application one more time. Go into the browser and instead of localhost here, I'm gonna pass in the IP address and hit enter, and I can see that it's working. So this means that we can now connect uh, uh, from our um, tablet for example and control the LED from there so I'm gonna do that right now I'm gonna um, 
record a short video in order to show you guys how that is going to work. Okay, here I'm connected to the server using my IP address uh, from my tablet. And you can see the Arduino there on the left side. And there's the server running in the background. And now I'm going to show you guys how we can change the color of the LED. So I'm going to tap the uh, color picker. And as I'm changing the color here, you can see the LED also changes the color. And later on, I think I'm going to show here also the intensity. Yeah, right there. Now we're changing the intensity. And uh, that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you, everybody, for watching. I hope you find this subject interesting. Uh, please like, share, subscribe. Uh, check out the links down in the description as well. And I'll see you in the next one.